Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be working in my master bathroom and I'm gonna take you along with me as I do some deep cleaning and organizing. Over time, I just have accumulated a ton of stuff and I have some storage systems in place that work for me, but they're just getting overrun with things. And I really need to do a good clean out of a lot of my products, reorganize, see if I can find an even better way to do things, maybe tweak some things and then also do a really deep clean. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please leave it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this from me. With that being said, let's get started. As you walk into my bathroom, it's not terrible overall. I have a ton of jewelry that I like leave on my dresser in between days just because I know I'm gonna wear it daily and I really need to put that stuff away. And then as you come in, I have my daily like skincare, and makeup brushes and stuff. I really need to clean that kind of stuff out. Um, a bunch of cords going different places. I have some drawers and cabinets that I really need to go through today that's just getting really overrun with stuff. So I'm gonna do that today. And then we recently replaced our shower head and our caddy doesn't fit in it anymore. So I've got to figure out something with that. And the last thing is my makeup storage. First thing I'm gonna do is start with this tray. This is all the stuff I use both morning and night before I get ready in the morning and before I go to bed. So I'm just going through this and figuring out what exactly I use and what I don't and what I wanna keep. And then I'm gonna rearrange it a little bit too just to make it the things I use easier to access. This tray is actually a serving tray. I got it from Home Goods a while back. I just found it was easier to kind of add height to my counter and be able to store all of the things I wanted to on my countertop since my countertop is small. clean I do like to bring out a cleaning toothbrush and get all the little nooks and crannies that I don't normally get when I clean daily. doing a deep clean on my electric toothbrush. I love having an electric toothbrush because it cleans my teeth really well, but they can get really gross. So I'm just taking and cleaning off both the toothbrush and the sand. Now to move on to underneath the cabinet, I really needed to go through all of this stuff and get rid of things that I was not using or things that were in the wrong place. I guess my love wasn't enough Was it me or was it you love? Cause I'm dying to know Why do you wanna end? Was it real or just pretend? Going through this drawer is long overdue. I have so many things that have fallen out of the little containers that I had in here that I really needed to clean up and I'm so glad that I was able to do this. Just pictures on these walls Reminding me of how you threw away all that we've gone through Since 
I wasn't real happy with how all the containers were functioning for me in this drawer, I decided to try a different container that I got from the Dollar Tree a while back. I found this in their office supplies section and I thought it would work perfectly for bobby pins and hair ties. Was he really just a friend? Cause it's playing in my head every word that you said I ain't worked it out yet. So why do you wanna end? Next are my hair tools. I used to keep these underneath the cabinet in one of those crates like I have my other products in, but I didn't find it function very well, so I went ahead and switched it to this bottom drawer. I do like the way this works better, but boy does it look messy. I would have begged you not to go. I would have given even more. My heart is breaking up inside. Can't believe now it's time for all the makeup drawers. These drawers have gotten so out of control over the last year or so since I last cleaned this out. So here I'm just taking a look at everything I have to see what exactly I use and what I don't use, and then throwing out anything that's close to empty or empty. I was shocked at how many things I have been keeping that aren't even usable anymore. I got this drawer storage system from Home Goods a while back. They still carry them. I think they come in this clear color and a colored drawer system. Typically people use them for crafts, but I thought it made a good makeup cart. It is on wheel so I can pull it wherever I want. So much time to sort through all my makeup and clean everything off that I literally had to come back the next day to finish up. Clearly I should not wait so long to clean and organize my things.
how out of control this drawer got. For somebody who doesn't even really wear lipsticks very often, I have so many. is actually 10 drawers half of them I use for makeup and half of them I use for other products so I have face lotions and eye lotions face washes hair supplies and tanning stuff in these next few drawers so I'm gonna go through that now anything I say will come off it's wrong and you're not alone Feels out of place, but you have no town. It's like we want the same things, but the lines we've drawn are too parallel. I can't sleep when you're not talking to me. Got me suffering in silence, can't breathe when you're not here. I don't know how you feel some type of way, girl. You don't say it to my face. why I have dry erase markers in this drawer it is because we like to leave messages on the mirrors for each other so I do like to have a few in the bathrooms so that we can do that for each other Yes, I am smelling a lot of these products as I am going through them. That's because we have some pretty good allergies in our house and certain scents set them off. And so I do try to stay away from strong scents or floral scents, musky scents. So I am just making sure that things I'm keeping are not things that are going to bother the allergies. Okay, so I finished cleaning the bathroom up. As you can see, I actually put my jewelry away. 
Uh, the little mirror, one of the ones I had two sitting over on my makeup stand, so I just moved one over to this area. Um, we don't use it that often, but I do use it sometimes, so it's there. And then over here, yes, it does not look any cleaner really, but I did go through everything and sorted through it and just put what I actually use over here. This before my new face thing was sitting back here and it kept falling over. It was driving me insane. So I did move it right here. It will probably drive me insane there too, but until I have a house with a bigger counter space, that will have to do. So this is the stuff I use every day. Obviously my makeup brushes, I do take magnesium supplement, but I take it before bed. So that's why it's up here. Um, I have a rose facial spray, eye makeup remover. This is like a brush cleaner for in between your makeup. I wear contacts. This is where I put my jewelry when I shower. And then I use shea butter for nighttime before bed on my face. And when my face is extra dry, I will do an oil. I have tanning oil, some eye cream, lip balm, and then a morning or daytime moisturizer. Um, and then I have a couple extra things that I just like throw in here and there, allergy medicines and lip scrubs and whatever else, um, random stuff behind there. And then below in the cabinet, um, this is how this turned out. So yes, it is not beautiful and that's okay. It is not Pinterest worthy and I'm okay with that. Um, honestly, all I really care about for the most part is function. No one's going to see this except for me and you guys now, but, um, I just need it to function. So in this back, um, little crate, I just have extra stuff that I need, but don't use very often. Um, trying to even remember what's in there, but, um, like teeth whitening. I have some attachments to my, um, blow dryer, some hand soap, just in case I run out up here, I can throw that up there. Um, and this one, it's more things that I need to access more quickly. Um, contacts. I have my Clarisonic. Um, I don't use that all the time because it can dry out my face pretty good, but, um, I do like it for exfoliating. So that's there for easy grabbing some extra lotions, some witch hazel, which is a great astringent, um, I do use coconut oil sometimes, so I do like to keep that. Um, this right here is a dry brush. So I keep that there because it's long and I have nowhere else to store it. Um, and then this crazy looking contraption. I am curious if any of you know what this is used for. So yes, I, I threw that together. There is a purpose for it. So comment below if you have a guess for what that is, and I will tell you later after you guys guess. So um, in this crate ended up being all the things that I use regularly, uh, my contact solution, deodorants, mouthwash, body lotion, my blow dryer and razor. So that's all cleaned out. And then my top drawer, again, not pretty, not Pinterest worthy, but it is functional and organized, which is what I care about. I just did this little divider from the Dollar Tree. Um, I have my hair ties, hair clips, and a razor hydrocortisone cream, um, and then bobby pins, a couple of scrunchies back here. And then I have my tooth stuff, teeth, toothpaste, floss. Um, I have a water pick attachment. My husband and I use different ones, so mine stays in there extra toothbrush, um, my little foot, whatever you call it. A couple of extra things that I don't use as often back there. And then in my bottom drawer is all my hair tools. So I went ahead and threw this um, little container from the Dollar Tree in here to hold my attachments to my one curling iron. And then I have my hair straightener and curling irons there. My little heat gloves that I do not use and just collect hair, but whatever, they're there just in case. And then my makeup storage. So in the top, I have all my primers, uh, concealers, and then my foundations in the back. So I kind of go, well, I usually go in order. I guess this should be primer, foundation, concealers, but it doesn't matter. Um, and then the next drawer down, I have my bronzers here, my setting powders, blushes and highlights, and then setting sprays. I don't use setting sprays very often. That's why they're at the back. And then I have extra makeup brushes back here and some makeup sponges. Um, the next drawer down is all my eyeshadows. Um, I do have quite a few palettes. I like the Makeup Revolution brand. And then my sister-in-law gave me a few of these and I 
love them, so I keep those. Um, so that's all my eyeshadows. The next drawer down, these are the things I use every day, which is my brow gel, my mascara, my eyebrow stuff, and my eyelash curler. And then the next one back is eyeliners, liquid and pencil, a sharpener, my tweezers. And then on the back is all my mascaras and my eyelashes that I don't use. <laughs> um, I did add these dividers a while back. It's just cardboard. I just taped it in just to kind of or like make some sort of organization in here. And yes, it's not pretty, but it functions. So next door down is my lip stuff. I have lip liners with another um, sharpener, lip glosses and lipsticks, and then lip balms in the back. The next door down, I switched some of this stuff up. This is all my face lotions and oils, and then eye creams back there. Um, and then the next door down, I did a face washing drawer. So again, this stuff was kind of mixed up, but I categorized it. So this is all my face washing stuff. Um, and then the next door down, I did hair. So I moved my combs and my brush. Um, these are for when I dye my hair, but it's still hair related. I do make my own dry shampoo. Um, that's just the brush I use to apply it to my hair. So that is that. And then the bottom is stuff that is for my hair, but it's stuff I don't use all that often. And then the next one down is a tanning drawer. So that is it.